we welcome you here to talk about arguably what is going to be the most important thing that we'll do in the next decade in the county of Bernalillo, perhaps the state of New Mexico. And I think that we have a great opportunity to understand more about our community during this next four months as we prepare for the 2020 census. I know person, of course, is unimportant from single family housing to apartment dwellers, students, uh, homeless people who are homeless, outlying residents. Everyone is a number, a very important number to our future funding. So I am encourage everyone uh, to get online and fill out the census form uh, through your church, your neighborhood school, your community center or anywhere else where you could get help to be counted. And of course, if uh, computers aren't your thing, census workers will be moving from neighborhood to neighborhood, securing an accurate count. District 3 is a, a wonderful place in, in the county and everybody struggles to, to kind of typify what, what their district is about. I'm not going to say it's the heart of the county. I will say it's the soul of the county. And the reason I say that is there is no demographic group or classification that is not represented someplace in District 3. Uh, it's critical that all of those voices be heard. I'm a big transportation guy, transit. And um, uh, a few years back, um, we were talking about the budget of our transit district, our regional transit district. And it was pointed out by our director that with another 50,000 persons counted in our region, that transit district would be funded by over five million annually more than it is now with federal transit funds. That's just one example. So yeah, it's a paycheck of sorts, uh, but, but importantly, it's the services that, uh, that we w use, that we provide locally but for which we leverage federal money. As a city planner, a uh, former city planner, I realize how important it is to have a complete count and to ensure that we don't um, allow people to feel that they're disenfranchised by um, not being counted. Um, as Councillor Benton um, alluded to, the federal money, um, that's one aspect that's very important, but it's also about knowing that you're part of a community and that you are being represented by that community or in that community by your representatives but also by yourself and that you have that voice if you want more money for your neighborhood park or your community school we want you to get counted mm -hmm. so that we have the funds to put where you live and where you need it most as Councilor Benton said, every person who's not counted is money from the federal government and from your city and from your county and from APS that doesn't go into your neighborhood. It goes into someone else's neighborhood. And so when Commissioner Colley and I want to work on improving our parks and adding lighting and looking for police dollars in the International District, we look to the census to tell us how many people are there, what federal dollars can match our local funds. And on the city council, when we look to look for new open space to improve our transit, we rely on those census dollars to tell us where to put those buses, how much money we have to invest for people who need them most. Well over a year ago, uh, the census was looming. There was a uh, discussion about whether there would be uh, a question of citizenship on the census, many issues that, that were clearly in front of us. And I want to thank everyone at the city and the county who came together to create this committee and everybody who's serving on the Complete Count Committee. It's such important work. Today, I'd like to ensure that every person in New Mexico, no matter what you look like, who you love, how much or how little money you have in the bank, how old you are or where you live, understands that the census is absolutely about you. Our goal over the next few months is to let you know that an accurate count for the 2020 census completely depends on you. We have a society where families are private, uh, individuals keep to themselves, and live in quiet and secluded locations, just campaign and you find that out, and transient populations that uh, create a unique challenge of their own. We know that certain populations may be reluctant to participate in the census because they have been targeted for who they are because of their immigration status, and that's been an intentional effort. We know that people have been targeted for their faith, and that could be a, a deterrent to participating. And we know that many of our populations in New Mexico have experienced historical trauma 
that would make it uh, difficult for them to trust the U.S. government and what it would do. And these populations have good reasons for having those he that hesitation. And yet New Mexico is a diverse, beautiful state, and we want every one of the people who lives in our city and our state to participate so that we can build our city to be more equitable and more uh, have more opportunities for all. Since this is critical, but it, because it allows us to examine ourselves and ask ourselves serious questions about who we are and who we represent. And it also means that the invisible folks in our community have the opportunity to become very visible and affect what happens in the community. If you're scared of being counted, ask someone you trust. Ask your elected official, ask your pastor, ask Kathy, ask Maria, ask any of our friends in the community who are doing this work can talk to you about what that means uh, when you stand up and are counted and how we get to partner together to use your dollars and keep them in your neighborhood. I'm already counted. We want everyone to be counted in our neighborhoods, and that's why we're all here today. I want to really thank those communities who have been working for years to build that trust and to be those trusted messengers in the community that can answer the questions and assure people of what will be done with their information and that can help them fill out the census either online or in person in 12 different languages. So there is no reason why anybody should not be able to participate fully. Yo cuenta, usted cuenta, y todos contamos con el centro. I encourage everyone in this county uh, to, uh, to come forward, use your trusted messengers, and be counted. Your civic duty will be rewarded in the form of increased services and programs designed to better the lives of you and your family. It's sort of our job to get this process started every 10 years, to work with city and county and partners, um, to talk about how we frame, bring, this, uh, bring this together, how we include people in our community who aren't represented, who don't sit at the city council or the county commission, but whose voices have to be included because they need us so much. Plaza Feliz, where we're standing right now, is an affordable housing project that was funded by federal dollars, $1.85 million. And that provided housing for 55 families who needed it. And the Head Start Center as well, federally funded. This is what we need in our city more of, is those early foundational Head Starts and the basics of housing to make our families uh, be able to enjoy the thriving aspects of Albuquerque. No matter what you look like, no matter who you love, how much or how little money you have in your bank account, how old you are, whether you are zero to a hundred, how old or how young you are, or where you live, we want you all to know that you count.